This video will cover useful tips and tricks in Linmont Designer. The tutorial for Linmont Designer can be opened by clicking the very last icon at the top of the screen. This tutorial goes through sizing examples and is another reference for help. Next we will go to the Layout tab. The Auto Centering mode is enabled by default. It automatically sets a start position based on the motor's short stroke. We click to turn it off and open the global settings. Under the Load tab, the start position can be set. Notice the position of the slider without and with auto centering. The layout currently seen shows a regular slider mounting condition. This means that the notch in the slider is opposite the black end of the stator. In the global settings under Motor, this can be changed to Reversed. Now the notch in the slider is on the same side as the black end of the stator. Next, we will go over how to edit the motion profile. If you right click on a segment, a box with more options appears. We will copy and paste the segment at the end of the list. The segments can be reordered by using the arrow keys on the top toolbar. Segments can also be added and deleted here as well. You may have noticed that all the units are metric. In the measurement settings, you can select metric or English for all units or change each one individually. A quick way to change all units is to double click the unit in the lower left of the screen. Another cool feature of Linmont Designer is the Efficiency tab. This tab predicts the yearly cost of operation for the Linmont solution in various diameter air cylinders. The last feature to show is how to open a new project. In the upper left of the screen, there are two icons, New Linear and New Rotary Project. We will open a new Rotary Project. Thank you for watching Linmont Tutorials.